We are back here at the Be Nasty Beats tent. We're at Valhalla Fest 2022. It is great to be here. I have a friend here. Tell the world, my friend, who you are, what your name is, what you do. I go by the name Corin Burke. Um, I'm guessing what I'm doing here. Yeah. All right. Um, I draw human object and pet energetic fields at the moment that the photo is taken. So I was born with it. I kind of always saw it and just started inventing ways of actually getting it out there. I think that is super, super dope. That's amazing. Yeah. Tell me about when you first discovered you had this ability. I can't even remember. I was less than two years old. I've always just been seen this way. So I just wanted to use it to help others really. Sick. And I'm like, would you say that you had people around you that were helping you nurture? No. 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 You did it all by yourself? Yes, sadly. How was that during? Uh, eye opening, mind opening for sure, but it was good. I, I learned a lot of self control and a lot of self reliance through it. So, I guess sometimes if you have like a, a, a an ability or a talent that's that's like of that caliber, sometimes you need to go through somewhat of an initiation experience. Oh, like there was many. Yeah. Uh, there was many. Yes. Okay, so tell me about when you discovered that you could fuse it with um, a, a visual art. How did you discover Elementary that? school, tracing out hand crayons and uh, like crayons with hands and this is like, hey, this is kind of like the color that I see and learned about digital art tablets in high school and just from there hooked in and just went. That's so cool. Um, you mentioned earlier that you're a sixth generation clairvoyant. Yes. Um, so it runs in your family then? Yes. yes. And Currently the last one. None which is why I didn't anymore? really have the, the, the upbringing with it. I see. Now, now, like, when you discovered, well, I guess from a young age, did you know that you were a sixth generation? No. No. So that, that knowledge came later on, then? Right? Uh, a little bit later. I was five. When I, I overheard my dad talking about my... Uh, his grandfather's grandfather that did it and it's like sounds similar so yeah do you feel like um, having that piece of knowledge um, helped you like get rooted deeper into the ability? yes it gave me more of a purpose to be like well if I'm restoking the fire of this I better do it right and do it as best as I can yeah what would you say is like one of your biggest or like, I don't know, maybe like your most life-changing experience um, when it comes with regards to like their buoyancy and like the art that you make with it? Seeing the beauty of the first death in the family or like just the creation of someone passing away and watching the soul just reinvigorate and just come new out of the <laughs> it just it's sad that we lost a family member and I was definitely crying but watching the process of just the new form was like if I can help other families or like other generations with this I'm going to yeah you would you say that um, this ability um, puts you like helps you get connected with like nature or like natural energies as well? Yes, I, I mean, not to stoke my ego, but like I go out onto the ocean and at six in the morning or like a lake at six in the morning, feeling environmental calm with no ripples on the water at all. Just seeing that, it just, it helps just with the whole grounding process, honestly. Mm -hmm. So, um, which, do you say, sorry, let me rephrase this. Do you have um, a vision for the art work? Like a, like a long-term vision, like what's what's your Just your, your more goal? festivals, just getting to conventions, whether it be anime, whether it be metaphysical, just getting it out more because I've always just been so based in Prince George and that it's like 
haven't even been to Terrace, which is only a six hour drive away. Right? So, yeah. Amazing. So, um, where can people find you if they wanted to find your artwork and your services? Right now, uh, it's still kind of in Prince George's Island recently left, but I am outstretching to Edmonton and Calgary more where I'm kind of focusing my efforts right now and just on Facebook what's your Facebook? Hidden Lights if you just type that in on YouTube or Facebook this that's where I'm at Hidden Lights I had to do it it was right there Heck so yeah. dude yeah thank you so much for uh, interview and thank you for sharing sure. a little bit of like your knowledge and like um, you know, your history and connection with, uh, with your awesome and your media Thank you. Appreciate it. Cheers, bud. Yeah. All right, Bahala. We'll see you later. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more, or also check out our website, www.benastybeats.net.